Hello and welcome to PTC Express Video Tip of the Month. My name is Leo Green. In this installment, we'll be touching on the various implications and uses for the Find tool. That's the funny binoculars that show up to search for, filter, and select items in the model by rule or, or so on. A lot of people don't know how to use it, so let's get down to it. What you're looking at here is an assembly of uh, hundreds of parts and um, let's talk about what we might want to look at uh, if we're coming perhaps to um, a verification or checking of the design phase. Question number one, are there any frozen components? Well, using the find tool we can look for a variety of things. Looking for, in this case, components whose status is and we can just uh, change this to frozen and if we click find now and there's nothing frozen here that means that there are no frozen components of course this is uh, fairly common for components to be frozen through a design some references might be missing components become frozen and this is a great way to find out where they are what about frozen features looking for features that might be frozen. You notice here it found one. In this case it's assembly datum plane but I don't know where it is. Through the model tree settings changing the filters the default is for the features as well as the suppressed objects to not be checked. My recommendation here of course is to have them checked so that they show up in the model tree. By having them showed up in the model tree I can identify where these things are so the find tool will actually find them for me in the model tree and if I right click edit definition I can sure enough see that indeed this particular plane lost its references and um, I'm now able to fix those another thing I might want to look for is incomplete components or perhaps uh, somebody placed a component and never really finished positioning it in a specific spot. So let's look for now components whose status isn't frozen but something called packaged. Something that is incompletely placed will also be considered packaged. Now in this case there's a number of packaged components and I can toggle through them and as you can see on the screen here let me move this back a little bit you can see that there's a number of different package components. Now you see the fans are packaged because they can spin. The various door components can, uh, are packaged because they are part of a mechanism that I can allow or, or pull it open. But here's a component that I do want to take a look at. So let's remove the previous select datum plane. Select that component and go straight to edit its definition and identify specifically what's the problem and sure enough if you look at the placement we'll see that there's a mate and it needs to be fully defined so I could add a new constraint here and fix this problem another aspect that we might want to find at the assembly level is parts that have suppressed features so let's take a look now Oh, and by the way, if I press a P, it'll jump straight to the, the P's in the list. But I don't want to look, f I want to look for a part, but I want to look by, in this case, features. So I want to look for a part where a feature is suppressed. Now, in this case, we have a number of parts that have suppressed features. And sometimes this is good, sometimes it's not good and uh, this allows me to quickly identify where they are. So let's take a look at that particular part there. Right click, open, and we'll see our part on the screen identified at part level and there it is in the model tree shown as a suppressed feature. Right click on the suppressed feature, resume so we can identify what it is. Oh and sure enough there is the, the protrusion. Perhaps I want to delete it at this point. Uh, maybe it was a design 
uh, alternative that I choose I choose not to use at this point. So let's just delete it, get rid of that suppress feature. Okay, so here, while we're at the part level, let's take a look at some of the fine tool things we might want to use here. If I show the layer tree here, let's look at the datum planes. See the datum plane layer, I'll turn on the visibility of it, is currently hidden. So let's unhide the datum plane layer. And you see there's quite a few datum planes on that layer. Datum planes, as well as another layer, which in this case are the default datum planes. Let's take a look at some of the things you might want to use the Find Tool for. If I go to Layer Properties, I can ask for rules to be identified here at the layer. So if I edit rules, you can take a look at showing datum planes and finding them. So let's find the datum planes, showing the the results, and you'll see that there's quite a few datum planes identified or located with this rule and now using the find tool I've identified a rule for my layer so if I add a new datum plane you'll see it automatically uh, be applied to the layer so the find tool can be used in conjunction with the layer rules let's go back to the assembly Another thing I like to do, especially when I'm looking at an assembly, especially uh, towards the end of the design phase when I really want to simplify things out and get some performance back, would be to quickly identify a simplified rep that gets rid of all the little parts. So if I go and add a new simplified rep, give it a name, I can use an include everything except rule, and if you'll take a look at the top here you'll see it's include everything except what I choose and so I'll use the find tool now and solid model look by solid model where I can specify the size either relative or absolute to be less than and uh, in this case I'll use maybe 0 0.03 of the entire model so I'll find now take all of these parts control A to select them all move them over to the selected and you'll see I've got 2,000 items plus identified to be excluded from the simplified rep so now I've got a simplified rep of your names choosing that takes all the little parts and takes them out of RAM potentially keeping all the big ones for my assembly for viewing, for performance, and so on. Well, I hope a little of this made sense to you. I hope that now you have a better understanding of what the Fine Tool can be used for at the assembly, a part level, including layers and simplified reps. My name's Leo Green, and thank you very much for watching this month's installment of PTC Express Video Tip of the Month. So long now.